What's going on? It's Custer 11 here with Nino Kuni, and I wanted to try to get three or four videos in a night, but it took me about an hour to get the one guy I needed to get for that quest. Remember the guy who said he needed three automatons or whatever? Um, it took about an hour for to get the one guy I needed, so I'll probably need to do two vids tonight, but that's all right. So what we're gonna do out here now is work on the side quests, but since I'm out here, there are two. Um, the two bounty hunts are out here. One's on this bridge coming at me, and the other one's way on the south. So let's get going with this guy. Here's the big guy here. Steam Man. Steam Man. Alright, so there's Clickety Clanks and the Steam Man. We want to take those Clickety Clank guys out quickly. Um, I actually evolved my Hurley. Gunther. He's only level 15 now. I figured since it was taking me so long to get the guy, I might as well just put put him in to evolve and let him start gaining some levels while I was trying to do the other stuff. Right. So we got the we'll take the little guys out first. They're not really the clickety clank. These are actually the this, these are the guys that I had. Uh, um, Tame for a quest, these clickety clank guys. Took forever. They have like a 6 or an 8% chance. So it's very tough. A Hurley is so. Um, low level that he's not gonna be able to really do anything. So let's go over to Swain here. Cause this guy is. Oh, he's, she's only level 10 now, too. Damn it. I actually put her up, too. <laughs> Evolved Cloudy here to her final form. Um, recently. So, let's see if she can still do some decent damage. Not too bad, actually. She's weak to Storm. So yeah, Hurley and uh well he's not Hurley anymore, but and the storm girl needs to the storm guy or whatever he is. Cloudy needs to level up and catch back up with everybody. I evolved him. There's two ways you can evolve him to a Hercules or a Hurlabaloo. I went to the Hurlabaloo one because he actually gets more attack like this. Even though he gets less... He gets a little bit more of the support abilities like Soul Shield, raises his magic defense. Bracer raises his regular defense. The other one had more physical attacks. But... He gets a lot more attack and more defense, I believe, in this form. If I remember the defense as well, I think. So that's what I went with it. And I will be evolving my skeleton after these bounties, I think, because he's ready to go to his final form. Um, I just didn't want to do it before this is before the bounty hunts. Because I need him. So. This guy, oh, he's over, over there, it looks like. Yeah, that's a different looking dude. Just want to grab this real quick since we're here. I'm not sure who this guy is. He looks a little different completely than... The other guy was pretty obvious. He was like one of these Tin Men guys. And he'd be weak to Storm. This guy... I don't know what he is. What the frick is going to do with a nice stash? Fluvius Maximus. I have no idea. Let's see what happens. It's just one guy. Come on! All right, well, let's tank him. So I'm not sure what we're in store for with this guy. All right. So let's psych up our Skelly. That's when it gets really good. 
if he hits him. This is a big guy. This guy's got a lot of hit points. You can see it's barely going down. He's doing almost almost 100 damage a turn. At least about 90 something a turn around. And he's barely losing health. But he's not really hurting us either because our boy is, uh, Bronco's taking him on really nice. Oh, Hurley was almost done there. Let's bring in our new boy. Let's see if we can do any doing damage as his new character. He's too low, probably. He's still doing 30 damage. No oh, shit. He got Rockfall, which is a new move. The damage is all enemies, actually. Which was one reason why I wanted to take this one. Belly Buster is a new one. So let's try this one out. I, I want to start getting moves that damage the whole everybody. I think I'm gonna take the damage though. But this guy's almost gone now. Early speed ass. He's at a level 16. See ya, bitch. Not much XP for that fight. Like I, he's had a lot of hit points, but he wasn't hitting that hard, it felt like. So, 100 magic attack already at level 12. Okay, so. We'll go turn those in. Actually, see this? I don't have any more of the jumbo drops for the red, for the sun guys. I, he can morph, even though I'm still waiting on that. But he can morph, and I'd like to, but I can't, because I don't have one. Same with him. I don't have red. I used them all already. But I do have the moon one for him. So we're going to take him and morph him. We need the jumbo to go to the last level. So now here, this guy actually... This is... I was, I'm going to go Bone Baron with him. But he gets 366 attack. He gets... Every, all his stats are actually higher than this guy's stats. When they're maxed level, that is. The thing is that this guy is a late um, growth guy. This guy is an average growth guy, which means he's actually not going to actually overtake him until about level 80 or 70 something. That's when the late guys really kick it in. So if you're going to keep a guy that long in the game and you're going to try to do everything and get him maxed out, go late. If you're not even going to worry about it, I would go with the average one because he's you're not going to see really the dividends of him until much later in the game. I'm not really trying to raise any late ones. This is the only one I think I'm going to do. For some reason, I just like this dude. He looks cool, and I figured I'd do one. He's going to be my party for the rest of the game. That's the plan. So he may have time to really level into something really massive. So let's hope it works that way for me. Yeah, I just like the way that dude looks, too. There's not many late guys. There's a few. Of course, now he's level one. But he looks like a... Hey, get the fuck out of the way. See how these guys are coming at me now? Because he came at me. Probably because he's level one now. My my, my total party... seems like sometimes when you, if you do a few guys at once, people that wouldn't normally come after you because you're too high level start coming after you. So I think it might be a bit based on your familiars more so than just your, like, your leader, party leaders, you know. But that's a guess. Alright, so let's get back to Hamlin here. Turn these quests in. Where's Swain? He's supposed to be... Oh, there he is. Come on, dude. Turn these quests in and then try to see what we can do with the rest of the side quests before we move on with the story. Alright, yeah, because from what I understand, when we start actually moving on with the story here, it's going to be a while until we get out back out in the world a little bit. So, try to get all these side quests done before you continue story-wise. Okay, so what we're going to do is drop all these guys off. Because as long as our guys are in our reserves, it'll actually count for us. They don't have to be in our party, they can be in our reserve. So, we need three of the... Auto guys, we need this guy here, Sprog Hog. We need Tin Man, and we need Clickety Clank. That was the dude that took me an hour to get. 
I'm pretty sure that's the three of them. The cog guy, I'm still not positive, but I think. Nice. Alright, good. I was hoping I'd have to go find that other that cog, like the, maybe the next level of him or something. <laughs> two sun drops, two planet drops. Oh, I need jumbo sun drops, but it's okay. Two thousand guilders, that's a lot. And five stamps. Gives us a whole new card. Alright, sweet. Alright, that quest is done. Close here. You know, there's one that way, but that's where. Oh, you know what? There's Horus. I didn't even realize he was there last time. I was right next to him. Wizard Wars that once raged throughout this land. Squint hard at it, and you'll find some great examples of creatures from the Atamara genius. My question is, how many creatures are in the picture? There's actually five Atamata. There's actually five of them in the game. I know that because I took a long time studying the book to try to find out who I wanted in my party. And there's five or six. So I'm just going to say five and see if that's right. That's a guess, but I think it's right. Maybe six. It's definitely more than four. So, can I, I, I just going to spell out five, maybe. Nice, I knew it. I, 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 took, I took a long time looking through all the creatures in that book to try to figure out who I wanted to get. Look at the picture. Maybe I'll go see what the picture looks like anyway, just to see it. Wizard Wars, huh? Uncover troves of hidden treasure. Ooh. All right, I'm excited. Is that show where everything's at? Reveals the whereabouts of nearby treasure chests in enclosed, loca enclosed locations. So, I'm assuming that's towns, maybe um, dangerous places like, you know, like the volcano area, maybe not the world. There's probably another one for the world map then. Let's cast and see what happens. Nearby chests are now visible on the mini map. Ooh, it's a green one right there. I was down there. There it is. Sons of bitches. Oh, there's actually a green dot in the top. See that chest up there? That Maybe that's the ones I have left that I can get. Because... I know... That, um... Oh no, there's a red chest up there. Wait, so I didn't get this chest? Did I miss one? Oh, I did. Oh my... Oh, actually, I didn't come... I did come in here. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know. I thought I'd cut them all. Okay, Nyx be gone. What is that? That's got to be a item to help you. Counteract. Okay, yeah. 
No, I didn't come in here. I completely missed this place, I think. Because this is where you buy your items. I don't think I came in the item store. Cause I, yeah, I didn't see all this shit. Stone be gone, Nyx be gone. Treats, we got a pretty good one. I usually get 20 to 30 of these now at a time, just so I can feed my guys when I, you know, not to worry about it. And here's the shit. We need some more, uh... Actually, I gotta really take some time and see what I can make. I haven't really looked at, um, alchemy in a while. So there's still a green chest up there. Now it's flashing. Oh, okay, so it shows if you're near it, it'll show up. Okay, we were near it, but it was uh, worn off. Huh, okay. So we're gonna have it for so long. So let's turn in our bounties. Thunder Spark Gem, 904 stamps. Lightning bolt, thousand and six stamps. We have a lightning bolt, and we found it as a hidden treasure for a couple of videos ago. Our last video, I think. Then we have two merit stamps. Uh, so I may, I was gonna get this one, but because I'm so high level now from that island, fights aren't as bad. Even though they're not, still, I still get in trouble sometimes. Um, I may do the more item ones, once I get three, which we'll probably be able to get if we finish all the side quests in here, because there's quite a bit. We haven't really done much of the actual side quests. So there's one way over- I should have went and got that one. Because that's where we're going to end up going. We weren't allowed there, but now we got Swain in our party. We might be able to head down that way. The quest is telling us to go to the north. We can't, oh, we still can't go this way? Ah, oh, fuck you, bitch. Alright, I guess we're not going that way yet. So even though we're pretty far from that chest, I'm wondering if it, if it still works here, or if we have to be near the chest for it to show up. No, it shows up. But it doesn't last forever. So what if that green that surrounds it means it's a green chest? I don't think so. I think it just means there's a chest left now. Or chests. Because there should be a purple one around here somewhere. So where's that thing at? It's up there. There it is. So we're going to have to probably go pretty far across the way here to be able to see that thing. Or shoot it. It's up there. Yep, there it was. Clockwork Cleaver. What the hell is that? It is a blade that does 33 damage. It's the best sword I got. Give it to our guy who's not going to be fighting for a while, but at least he's got it. Okay, cool. So now what we got? We got two side quests down here. We can't actually do the other side. But oh, there's a pot over here. It shows pots too. I saw it on the mini map. That's cool. Okay, so let's do these side quests that we can do here.
Oh, there's that one that gr I know which one we need. <laughs> it's the quick and growth? Yeah. No? What? Oh, we have to do it on the actual plant itself. The plant's sitting there. There it is. It didn't work. Looks like the sun. I have somebody like that, but he's from way early in the game. Okay, let's see what this side quest is first, because we're gonna have to go all the way back to the creature thing. Enthusiasm, restraint, and kindness. We don't have courage. Shit, so somebody, is there anybody left? Nope. So we have to come back. We have to get it from somewhere else, I guess, and come back and do that one. That's starting a little more often now. So I'll go try to find that sun guy. Um, I know I have one that I've got in the desert a long time ago who looks like a sun. I was actually considering using him as my fire guy because he learns some pretty good fire spells. But his magic power doesn't actually get to be as high as the the uh, guy I'm, I'm planning on using. Even though the guy I'm planning on using doesn't have uh, some of the stronger spells. Drop off one of these guys. We're not using the menu. We should just drop all of them off, actually. And then retrieve. Yeah, it looks. I mean, it looks like a freaking sun. This guy here, sunshine. It's got to be him. He's a pretty cool looking dude, he just, and he has good fire spells. He just ends up with, you know, not that much of a magic power stat toward, you know, when he gets higher levels. It's not bad. But the the turban guy that I have magic is ridiculous. It's like 380 or something. He's one of the highest magic guys in the game. So I thought maybe I'd stick with him. He gets good fire spells. The sun guy gets, I think, some of the top, top, top ones. So let's see if we can get this going. Okay, good, it's the right one. Nice.
Purifying Pulse Gem, thousand gathers. Five stamps. Oh, why don't we get a bonus one and get our third card? Alright, so we have two side quests left, one we can't get to yet, one we don't have the courage to get. And there's no green things to get courage here. So when it comes to that, side quest wise, we're pretty much done with what we could do at this moment. So we have this one, we haven't talked to him yet, and this one we need courage. And we're done there. So let's head on in. Well, let's yeah, see what happens. I have a feeling we might not be let right in anyway. I just, the way the game works. Yeah, see that? I had a feeling. We may be able to go down the other way now and get that quest. That's why I want to come in here. So now we have to go back to the black market. And I think that's the way we had to go to get the other side quest. So we should be able to see what we need down there now. Alright, so looks like we can get by just because. Nice. So I, cost, I, I did the chest spell again. There, we can see everything. It's pretty awesome. Um, there's a purple chest in here, in that building, as you see, which we cannot get, but there's another one over here of these. So, it's a pretty cool spell. I wish it lasted a little longer. So what do you need? Okay, so this is the guy that needs the kindness that we got. Remember, there's a guy who needs kindness in the fairy place, but we're going to use this guy first. Because by doing this quest, it actually opens up a couple other quests here. So we're going to try to do that first. The fairy guy can wait. Should give us three stamps too. Two bottles of Pixie Dew, 500 guilders, and three stamps. This should be enough for three stamp cards. Yep. 
He's still flashing, so he may... Let's talk to him again. Yes, this is the quest that you get now. Fungus growing. That's the one little forest that we went to a couple video ago. There's only one forest on this whole island, so it has to be that. Pick the fungus from a forest to the west of Hamlin. I don't think we would have. We were there, but we got stuff out of chests. Actually, have to go there again to do it. So we're gonna head out that way. Um, we're gonna do that in the next video though, because this one is running long as they all do. I was gonna real quick head back and see if any other quests opened up, real quick, because I'm thinking of it now. Sometimes they open up once you do a few others. Usually it's after maybe a little part of the story, but that quest opened up because we finished another one, so. That one probably would have been on the board, actually, but we already got it from just talking to the guy. And there's no more bounty hunts. Okay, so we're all caught up. I'm going to head to the forest in the next vid, get that stuff, and then we'll come back here, finish that quest, and see what happens then. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.